Welcome back to another video review. Today we're going to be taking a closer look at the Condor VT holster. So to start off with, uh, VT stands for vertical. There is an HT model, which is the horizontal. Uh, these holsters run about $27 Canadian plus tax. Uh, they come in multiple colors, being the olive drab that you see here, black, tan, and coyote brown, along with the licensed multicam. Uh, however, the licensed multicam version runs about $34 Canadian. It's made in China. It's made of 1000D nylon. Uh, it is water resistant. It's very well sewn. They reinforced the edges here with extra material, all with double stitching. So it's not going to fall apart on you. It is a universal adjustable holster so that you can use multiple styles of pistols in it along with uh, pistols that use lasers and flashlights or lighting systems on them. At the top here we have a retention strap which is adjustable for height and this is retained by hook and loop along with a snap button and you can fold this back underneath and just use the Velcro if you wish. As mentioned, it's universal, so it has a wraparound design. So this opens up, it's all retained by hook and loop. And then inside here, we have, basically this is for the adjustment to adjust the height of the pistol sitting inside the holster. So there's a strap here for that. Now on the back, this is the vertical version. So we got two uh, molly straps that are retained by snap buttons. All right, so I'm going to just shove a pistol in here. Uh, this is an airsoft pistol. This is my KWA Mark IV. Um, it's not loaded. There's no air in it, no BBs. And the chamber is clear. All right, so to place a pistol inside this, I usually set it up so that it lines up with the edge here and a little bit up. And then I adjust the inner strap here. Pull this down. You fold over. This first part, make sure it's tight, fold this over, and fold over the other flap, and this sits your pistol in there nice and snug. As you can see, room for a laser or a light, you can readjust it, this will wrap around it. Personally, I don't like to use the snap button on it, so it does have the ability just to use the Velcro. And that retains your pistol in there. I also like to mention, uh, I did an adjustment to my pistol with the uh, mag release. I added just a little bit more tension to the spring. Um, I have seen an issue and I've heard other people talk about it that uh, when there's enough pressure and such, your magazines can come out. So that was just me pushing a little bit on the back of the panel here. So that's why I tightened up the uh, spring for my mag release, just so that doesn't happen as much, but it can happen. Uh, different pistols, uh, the mag release will be a little bit different and positioned a little bit different, so it might not be a problem with those pistols, but fine with the 1911, that that's been an issue a little bit. So just something to keep in mind. So yeah, overall, nice little holster. I've been using this on my cross draw. I took the default one that was on the Condor cross draw vest because I didn't really like it and I put this onto the molly section there and uh, works well. So if you have any questions, uh, leave the comments down below. Uh, have a great week, have a great day and take care.